Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Victoria and today I'm going to show you vintage jewelry I found in um, a car boot sale at Hexham in north of England. Um, I'll start with the, um, just a postcard. Uh, I just liked the girl on, on the postcard. Sort of this beginning of the 20th century hairdo and the dress and all that. And um, it's addressed to Miss Edith Johnson in 26th of May 1912. And you can see King Edward and the half penny mark uh, card. The, postcard, postmark. And, uh, dear, and it's sent from Birkenhead and it says, Dear Edith, um, I can't really understand staring, starring, a fine limit. I, I, I don't know if it looks like limit to me, but it might be something else. Something lovely weather. Going to Southport tomorrow on Saturday uh, to someone love to someone Miss Edith Johnston don't really understand that I don't know, I thought it's sweet, it cost me two pounds. So I'll start with the jewelry. Now, this crystal is already falling, so I'm gonna be very careful because I haven't glued it yet. Uh, this is um, this is coral. Is it? There you go, that's the mark. Sorry, it's really it's really um, dark, although it's morning, but it's for some reason worse with the lights on, so I'm just going to show it as it is. Uh, so this is American company, Coro, but they were doing some jewelry in England as well. So this is probably the most common American company. <laughs> Where's that crystal? The most common American com jewelry, costume jewelry company I found in UK, maybe next to Monet and up here. Um, but coral tends to be older than up here and Monet. So I, I really liked the metal. It's in great, great shape. Sort of this brushed gold, very light yellow. And it doesn't have any like wear. Don't think it has been weared much. Although this stuff can probably now be safe to say it can be 40, 50 years old. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, the pearls don't have wear. Now it does miss some crystals. Okay, now my phone is not charging. <laughs> charge my phone at the same time um, yeah it does miss this crystals so there is a light pink here a fuchsia dark pink and a light pink here and then I have this one to glue so I thought that's a really nice find for 150 I've paid for it so that was nice piece and then at the same vendor I bought this ring also for 150 and uh, it has these uh, pointed crystals I think they're called Weevilly crystals um, dark blue color so that's a really nice find I think And it's adjustable and another company that I often find especially rings I don't know why 
If I find a ring, it's probably Sarah Coventry. And I think because they were also, it, it's also American, but they also produced stuff here in UK. If I find a nice vintage ring, that's Sarah Coventry. It's a really nice, really nice piece. Um, and then I found this small brooch for one pound. Um, this is probably modern and it's maybe it was sold in a museum because it's in this style of Rennie Mackintosh rose flower. This um, the Scottish was it was it was it Art Nouveau or Impressionism? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what style of art was he doing. And then I bought these for 150. And this is a um, violin brooch made with brass and mother of pearl. And it uh, looks old, but also it has a, a year, not a date, but a year scribbled on it. 1931. And then again here, 1931. I don't know who scribbled that, who scratched it on the on the brass and why. But it is probably from 1931 or something like that. And I really like the mother of pearl. It's all a bit wonky, but... And then this bracelet, like filigree bracelet with butterflies. is marked 800 so it's um, 800 sort of low percentage of silver and it's probably French or European or something like that because they used this mark a bit more um, and then I always buy dress clips when I find them. Uh, this one was two pounds. And it's like cut steel. It's not marcasite. They look like crystals or marcasites, but no, they're cut steel. But it does have this wonderful dark blue sort of indigo color, glass cabochon. And um, you would put that on your dress, sort of. If you had two, usually they were in pairs, so if you had two, you would put that on the other side of your collar. Or you could put that pin a scarf, maybe, or in the middle, depending on the shape, in the middle of your cleavage. Um, and I think they were still using in the 40s, but I don't think I've seen a lot of photos with dress clips older than 1940s. So when I find them, they usually means they're quite old, so I do buy them. Um, and then I, I bought um, a lot because I saw dress clipping dress clip in in the in this bag <laughs> as well uh, and then I think I saw a brooch quite a large flower brooch that was in a terrible shape but um, I wanted to save it because I like the stem I'm gonna show it in a second uh, the rest of it is trash to be honest so, like plastic beads I can already tell this is not Bakelite, although it does look like from far away, but it's not, yeah, it's not Bakelite. Um, clip earring, it's actually quite an interesting clip earring, looks like it's from the 70s, 80s, 
and it's wood, very light. It's actually quite interesting. You could take this part out. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, put a bale on it and use it as a um, pendant or something. Uh, okay, the plastic part of a bracelet, probably. Actually, again, it's quite an interesting color, this avocado green. I test it for Bakelite too. I don't think it is. It all looks very 70s. Yeah, it's not Bakelite. Although... No, it's not. Although... Maybe I should test that, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like... It's actually quite nice. It's like a beaded bracelet. Has nice this amber topaz color beads. Another interesting earring. Again, you could take this part out completely and just use that as a pendant. There's a wooden dolphin on it. So that's pretty neat. But um so this I noticed it through the through the bag as well, and um, that looks like they're natural pearls or some kind of pearl material. But they are natural; they're not glass or plastic, and it's nice, like peachy, rosy color. Uh, don't know if it was a brooch or something like that. That is a brooch. Now, it does have some stones, but two are missing, and then I don't know if it's like glue. Don't think you can do anything with it anymore. And that's a stone, it's like a pebble. That's a bracelet, and again, it's done with natural pearls, cultured, but steel. And uh, now there'll be a lot of those, I might not comment, but sometimes I do need crystals so that might find some use for repairs. Now that was quite a neat earring, clip earring, or just earring. And you can Actually, put a bale on it, or just use this part as a pendant. Looks quite neat. Let's do this African style. Again, I might use the crystals, the rhinestones. It looks like amber. Some amber beads. I don't think I'm gonna find here the second one. I might use the, the beads somewhere. Now that's a brooch. Looks quite old, maybe 40s. This has a lot of missing stones though and it's still darkened, but maybe if you can clean it. More beads. Okay, and the earring, actually quite a sweet one. Some parts, shells. What's that? Some like ceramic beads, quite nice actually. So that's the That's the brooch I was talking about. I know the enamel is completely gone. Um, and the metal needs to be cleaned. But look at the stem. Look how they've done the metal. They've brushed it. I just 
I don't know. And, and it's very big. You can see it's half of my palm. It's about 15 centimeters. So if you can like paint that, sort of try to repair one day, one day, <laughs> it's not gonna happen very soon. But yeah, I really liked it and I decided um, it was eight pounds. I don't find red sweets very often. So I do buy them when I find them. And that's actually not in bad shape. It just has a some couple of missing stones, I think. Aurora Borealis, but other than that. It's um it is vintage, it's not like the best quality but okay I think it this is not working very well but we'll see what we can do another one of these things earring with like um looks like it's hand painted bead made of clay Neat. It's broken though. <laughs> some necklaces, some more. Um, they're not very good pebbles, chips, but they are amber. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Another brooch. Now this one is missing a lot of stones. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm not I might take the crystals out. And pendant with this one looks like mother of pearl, but the other ones don't. Don't know what's the material. That's Plastic, that's not even metal, it's just plastic. Some more beads, another one of these marquees shaped. It's a nice lustreware bead. Plastic. It's a quartz. Not gonna comment on that. Again, might use the crystals from this earring. Beads. Oh, here you go. That's the dress clip. So it has two missing one white and one or uh, two blue stones, blue crystals, rhinestones. Uh, this interesting shape, <laughs> very odd deco. Be nice to have a pair of them, so you put it like that. On if you had this uh, kind of cleavage, you, would, you can put them on either side. It's very nice, and a flower. Some more amber beads. Uh, lots of these pearls. It's actually glass. Sort of pearlescent glass bead. Keychain. No missing stones on this. Obviously, it's new, but there's all the rhinestones. Oh no, it's missing one here and here and here. <laughs> uh, that? Uh, a tangle. Yeah, and, uh, with 
uh, dragonflies and um, cattails. Uh, this is probably fish and crown. It's a nice find as well. I do like to find them if they're cheap. I don't buy them if they're too expensive, but if they're cheap, I'm, I'm, I am buying them. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I'm going to untangle that. I'm not sure I will. Maybe I will, I'll do it later, but um, I did want to show you. The beads on this one are quite nice. Look at this green one. Or this orange one. And this is all glass beads. These are glass pearls. They're not bad. I have to untangle everything one day. And then look at this copper thing. It's really neat. And it's not finished, and that's what's causing all that. They look really neat. Why did not? Why did you not finish it? Look at this mother of pearl to like that. Yeah, some really nice glass feet. I'm not gonna untangle it now. And this is the parts I think. It has some more of these um, amber beads and then it has nice red beads. I'm looking at the glass ones mainly. And that and that's that. And that's a nice sort of frosted glass but also has swirls. It's a nice thing there. Now this might be spare parts for malcasites because it will be just one. Some more of these worlds. Another one of these black ones. green one. It's nice that they have pears. This one is plastic. Oh look at this. This is really neat. It's sort of like malachite. Amber. Some more amber. Some more amber. Some more. Another one of these glass beads. Now this might be donor for that one. Sort of style crystals. Uh, oh look, this is mother of pearl um, button. It's quite old. That's nice. Another one of these black glass bits. Another one of these swirly blue. Oh, that's nice. Even signed ML, whatever that means. Oh, <laughs> wooden mother of pearl. Um, what's it called? Lizard. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That's the tiniest earring, the tiniest crystals in the earring I have ever found. Look how small these rhinestones are. <laughs> less than one millimeter <laughs> right well that's all really for today I guess my favorite finds are my dress clips my two dress clips I do like these I do like my coral bracelet I do like my ring do like my flower it's a nice find there were some finds here and it wasn't that expensive to be honest so that's cool and um yeah we'll see you next video